hello guys welcome back so now in this video we will learn that how to push that uh, docker file to the ansible server and uh, at the beginning of this video i already informed you that there is a kubernetes server also we have required so we will also push the files which is required to create the pod pod uh, and deploy the deploy the pod from the kubernetes server okay so from to to deploy this one we also require the yaml file for uh, deployment and to create a one node port because we want to run the website from our browser okay so that's why we require the node port service so both for both this we require two files okay and for for uh, publish this uh, this one this project we require the ansible yaml file also okay so overall we require total four files two files should be there in the ansible and docker server and two file should be there in the kubernetes controller okay so one by one we will configure okay now i'm just sending this file to the kubernetes later we will uh, check that how uh, whatever we need to update in those files now i'm just creating two files and sending this to those two files to the kubernetes and creating the ansible file okay and sending that ansible file to the ansible server later we will learn that uh, what we need to enter there okay so let's start So first of all, to send one file from Jenkins to Ansible, we will actually use a command, very known command that is the SCP. Okay, and to sending one file to another, so this SCP require the password. Okay, so if I configure a pipeline like this, that this file will uh, send from Jenkins server to the Ansible and in, in, in the pipelines, I have to mention the password. Okay, but there is no scope to uh, enter the password at that moment. So, so to bypass that uh, issue, we will configure the password less authentication. Okay, so to uh, create the password less authentication, <coughs> I will first switch to the user Jenkins okay press the cd command it will come to the home directory of the Jenkins which will be the bad leave Jenkins okay now create the keygen ssh keygen is the command to create I'm not uh, creating any passphrase or the so, uh, password for this just creating without any password and you can able to find that there is a uh, file uh, sorry directory naming dot ssh is created after creating this and if you enter entering into this directory you will be able to find a file that is id underscore rs and id underscore rs dot pub is the public one is key another one is public key okay so <clears throat> after this i must in uh, i must create uh, the password for this so for this server uh, to log in using the password and username as of now we are using the key file to log in right so now we will use the password to log in okay so that Required some changes. So let me switch to the root and come to the directory security ssh. Here you will be able to find the file that is shd config. Let 
me check once. Nothing to change here. BISH underscore config. Yeah. This file I required password authentication should be yes. So I'm copying this one and uncomment this line password authentication is equal to yes. That means uh, server will accept the password to logging and there is another directory as I am using here in the AWS EC2. So here uh, we have to change also. Okay, inside this sshd underscore config dot d. So I'm changing this one also. This is the password authentication. No, I'm ch changing it to yes. Save this. And exit from the root. Oops, no. One more thing I need to perform that is system CTL start SSH. Okay, now SSH service is now restarted. So let's create the password for the Ubuntu user. Ubuntu entering the password here. You you can choose any as you required. So I have updated the password here. Now I guess I can be able to log in. Okay. So let's take the IP address of this uh, Ansible server. And as this is in, uh, in the same network, okay, same uh, network group. So we can use the private IP instead of public IP. So SSH Ubuntu at the rate paste the pub, private IP and press enter click on enter the yes and now enter the password here you will be able to log in right now exit from here and again enter the command uh, you are able to log in perfectly now just we need to bypass this ssh copy hyphen id next ubuntu at the rate private IP. Now it is asking the password again. Okay. Now if I again executing this command, then it will not ask me for the password. That means I can able to <coughs> switch or log in to another server without any password. That means it is a it it it, it is passwordless authentication. Okay. <coughs> So same thing we need to perform for our Ansible also. Okay, so let's connect with this Ansible server. Copy and login. So before login need to come to the directory where I kept the key file. Login. So this one is the controller and go to this root so hyphen pc ssh ls oh, open the ssh underscore config file uh, okay it's already done here previously i have configured for my requirement i guess this one is also configured yeah it's configured perfectly right so just copy the copy the private IP copy the private IP of this controller and configured it so SSH hyphen copy ID Ubuntu at the rate private IP enter type yes enter the password here yeah. so now if I enter this command to SSH to this controller server 
without any password i can able to successfully can log in right so this one is perfectly done okay now come to the jenkins dashboard so now in jenkins dashboard we need to create another stage okay to copy the file from one server to another so i have already informed you that docker file and for ansible.yaml file this file we need to copy from jenkins to ansible file ansible server and the service.yml and the deployment.yml these two file need to copy from jenkins to kubernetes okay so let's create this two files before uh, creating it okay let's create two file here in this devop project or yeah we can create this file from this uh, <coughs> git git bash let's uh, create two file uh, three file actually touch ansible dot yml create another one I'm creating this file deployment.yml and another one is service.yml i will update it later okay as of now i'm creating the file just so get Commit this file. Create it. YML files. Next, push. I need to push this three files to my remote repository. Okay. If I push this to my remote repository. So if I push this three files to my remote repository, then I will get this three uh, total number of four files here and the pipelines automatically executed and also I can able to find out those files inside this directory, right? Now, this docker file and ansible file I need to transfer here in my ansible server. If I will execute the ls command inside this slash home ubuntu directory, I can able to find these two files. And if I um, ls here in my Kubernetes. Uh, server I can able to find out those two files okay so let's do this come to this area and <clears throat> just copy this three line presenter and paste it okay now change the name of the stage copy files from to Ansible and Kubernetes server right now I need to copy this file so for that I need to use I can I want I need to use uh, the SSH that is a shell script okay so shell script what should be the command here <coughs> The command is scp okay from where from this directory this one is the directory right from this directory i need to copy so from this directory paste here all right from this directory what is the file name the file name is docker file right in this directory the file name is docker file where I want to copy this the command is this one I want to copy this to Ansible correct so this one is the private IP 
copy this private IP paste it here where inside the home directory Ubuntu. okay generate the pipeline copy the command and paste it here again I want to copy another file inside the, the same directory which one that is the ansible.yml okay so copy it and paste it perfect now I want to copy another two files to the controller server correct so take the private IP of this controller server change it generate one minute I need to I need to mention the file name also copy change the file name generate the pipeline script now copy it paste it here okay again paste it here and just change the file name so copy the file name from here and replace with this all right now click on apply okay and click here to build now okay it's giving an error Okay, it's showing that no file is there no file is on okay okay we have mistake we have data mistake this should be the docker file docker file get add and push this okay, I have pushed it so now I guess it will execute automatically yeah it is executing let's see now okay it's now executed successfully if you check this all the four line of the commands successfully executed now come to the server and if you able to find out this files as per our desired location right then it is working fine right you are getting the file yeah the file are in their place where we want to send them so that means it is working fine right perfect okay so we're ending our this session here in our coming session we will we will check and we will learn that how to create the docker image using this docker file okay and later we will also uh, also learn that how to push that that created docker image to the docker hub okay so see you soon thank you bye bye and if you like this video please like subscribe my channel and comment here thank you